Thank you, Fred. Spring is here and the Bradford pear trees are in full bloom and it's a type of tree that can hurt the environment and your tires. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli joins us live with Clemson Extension to give us tips on how to safely cut down these trees. Christine. Was that eventful for you, Liv? Did you see that tree come down? You did such a good job, Mark. Clemson Extension here. You can tell how well they train you guys and have you guys doing so much for us in the community. Okay, here's what we've established so far. Bradford pears suck. We want them all to die. Hide your kids, hide your wife. We're coming for you. We want you to kill them, take them down. Why? Some people like them. They're pretty, but they do a lot of bad things. They, they do. They produce a fruit that actually germinates and turns into a very thorny, bush it's uh the, from the calorie pear and it's uh terrible for equipment for tires uh livestock if you step on them they hurt they, they have really these hurt. pears that don't taste good they don't taste good the flowers last for a few days and we're trying to get rid of them especially here in the u.s that's right they're just harming the environment that's among right. other things that's right. so mark beautifully cut down this tree just a couple minutes ago we that's saw right. that go down um nice job but this is so important. You this is have very to treat important. The stump. Yes, you have to treat the stump within two hours because if you don't, it starts to heal over just like anything else. It, for lack of a better term, it scabs over and tries to heal itself because so this stump is still alive. We've got this stump right here. This is literally the stump that was taken yes, down moments that's right. ago. Tree, Show we, us how we to do it. We just moved the tree out of the way. What are we using? And so what we're using is glyphosate and do not get the pre-mix. You want to use the full strength glyphosate. Glyphosate? Yes. All right. And I've got a chemical application bottle. and Gloves. The gloves for protection. And also you see that it's red. Well, you can pick your color because it's clear when you put it in here. We've just used some uh, food coloring, and the reason why is when we spray the stump, you can see where you spray. We're actually going to treat this stump right now, and you can make sure that you get full coverage, and you can see everywhere that you spray. So you're spraying the entire We're thing. We're spraying the entire Anything open on the area. Outside you need to do? Well, we just want to get the where we cut okay. because that the outside it won't do anything there, but Okay. If we cover this whole stump, okay. then that's what it takes. It'll suck the chemical down in there and uh, it will finish killing the roots and we won't have to worry about sprouts coming up and turning into a bushy mess. Awesome job, Mark. We love it. WSP.com for much, much more information. This was successful, I yes. think. Nice job. We're getting rid of all these out here in Union. We're coming for your city and town next. Maybe we'll do this weekly. What do you say? Oh, maybe so. I like it, guys. Back to you. Did you learn anything this morning? I sure hope so.